Dad here and Papa. Today is a special day, so I decided to do something special, and that is go to Chickasaw State Park and walk around with my boy without the puppies. Yeah, just have a stress-free, oh, I don't know, hour or so walking around with the boy, get him, get him some exercise, because this is the two-year anniversary of me being on my homestead. And oh my goodness, I have, I've really come a long ways. There it is. That's my favorite starting point. There's a little log cabin. I've never been able to go inside, but I still love coming here and seeing it, looking in the windows, looking out have. There's a blacksmith shop over there. And my favorite trail. Yep, I did bring my harvesting bag to see if there's any mushrooms. I doubt I'll find any. What do you think, Papa? Is it fun? <laughs> Let's go for a walk, boy. This never gets old out here. Even during the winter time, when all the leaves are gone, it's still beautiful. I love it out here. It looks like there's some more down trees that I didn't see the last time, but I just absolutely love coming out here. And Papa, he just loves it too. I found my favorite little bench that I like to come and sit on sometimes and just kind of relax and look around at stuff. And yeah, even though there's no leaves or greenery out here, it's still beautiful. It's very calm, very peaceful. I remember the first time I came here, I was terrified because I was terrified of doing anything new. Oh my gosh, when I first moved down here, more than like two and a half years ago, because remember, I lived on that other property um, before, and then I found the one I'm currently on, and I thought, oh, this is going to work so much better. So I moved to the new property now, and I was living and working out of my van. Remember that? And um, I had nothing up on that property, and now I've got a tiny house. I've got a chicken coop. The van is now a chicken coop for those of you who um, are just getting here. And uh, I got chickens. I have got garden beds. I haven't really nailed down the whole growing process in this climate yet, but I think this year is going to be the year. I think I'm going to start. I'm just going to do very small. I'm not going to grow in containers anymore because I think it just gets too hot in the containers above ground. Um, just get too hot. Things dry out too much. So I'm going to use my existing garden beds and probably just um, enclose each one of them instead of enclosing a large area so the puppies and chickens can't get into them. And just grow a few things, and if I grow them well, then I can expand more next year because, let's face it, I've been expending a lot of resources on gardening, and I've not had a whole lot of success, except for with the herbs. Um, and the cayenne peppers had plenty of them. Um, and the things that are already growing wild that I already like to eat, like the plantain, the um, the the wild lettuce, the uh, dandelion leaves and stuff like that, the wild garlic chives that are growing abundantly right now during the winter. That's when they grow is during the fall and winter. So I'm going to kind of stick to that and uh, just keep it simple and uh, see what I can come up with. But I have just, I mean, I, sometimes I look at my homestead on my property and it looks messy. It's not pristine. It's not super neat. Um, when I did, had the rib thing, uh, things just kind of started laying around, and I just didn't like the look of it at all. So I need to, you know, gather things, move things, take things to the dump. That's the biggest issue that I have right now, is the situation with the, you know, junk that was left here by the prior owners and probably the owners before them, and the stuff that I've accumulated, big pile of cardboard so I have to get rid of that but when I look at other people's homesteads and they just look so beautiful and so neat and nice I can kind of get a little depressed but then I think you know what even even though my homestead isn't where I want it to be right now it's going to get there um, and I, I have to keep reminding myself that I'm doing it by myself predominantly um, I've had a little bit of help here and there and um, that's helped me tremendously but one thing that has helped me so tremendously along this way is having this YouTube channel and having you watch my videos and the, the so many different ones of you who have reached out and sent me things or made donations to the channels. I look around my homestead and I just see all of you. I see the things, you know, from the wagon to the wood-burning stove, the chainsaw, the just 
everything. You know, the um, Tina sent me that beautiful red checkered um, tablecloth. I look at that every day and I just love it so much. So there's been so much that has been given to me and I'm so appreciative. I never would have been able to get to where I ne I wouldn't be where I am right now with all of, without all of you. So, I don't know. It's a pretty day today. It's a little brisk, but it's going to warm up even more. It's still kind of morning time, but I had to go into town early and uh, pick up some stuff. So, Papa's starting to whine. He's telling me, it's time to go, Mama. This is the spot right here that's right before the bridge that goes out into that clearing where that first year that I came here I found a ton of chanterelle mushrooms I didn't find any here last year but I found them at the top of the trail so every time I come out here I'm always looking in this area for more chanterelle mushrooms I don't know if they were over harvested or or what but um, I sure did find a lot that one year and I love the trails with the different kinds of trees the ones that still have leaves, different colors. It's completely different here in the winter than it is during, you know, spring and summer, but it has its own unique quality out here. Any time of the year, I just love coming out here. I wonder what it looks like when it snows. I'll have to come check it out sometime. So going forward, homestead-wise, um, I'm gonna try and grow as much of my own food as possible but I have to learn what grows well and I need to still learn the best way to grow them out here in this climate that gets very hot and very dry during the summer. Um, I'm going to combine Mama and Patsy with the uh, Romeo's flock as well as the four Easter eggers and then once those Easter eggers are out of their pen um, I think I may start getting quail um, and raising them for meat. Uh, for meat and their eggs. Their eggs are super cute. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that little that little coop. Well, it's not super little, um, it, but it's big enough for some quail. So I think that that would be pretty awesome to get some quail and raise quail. Um, I don't think I'd have nearly as much problems butchering quail as I would chickens just because I just love chickens so much. They're so cute. Even the, even the roosters all oh, those roosters are so beautiful. Oh, I still have three roosters that I'm wanting to give away. So anybody that lives in West Tennessee, let me know. You, I'll give you some roosters. So yeah, I think I want to raise some quail. And um, I have to just kind of see who sells them. I know you can order a mail order, but I don't know how much confidence I have in mail ordering stuff. You know, livestock. But we'll just have to see. Anyhow, I need to finish this uh, little hike here with my boy. I'm back at the truck now, by the little uh, cabin, and I've noticed something I didn't notice before. All right, I was looking at it, and I'm like, oh, I wonder if those are beehives. And then, yep, there are bees all over the place. I'm not going to get any closer than this, but this is really, really wonderful to see that they're, they're trying to have beehives. I have thought about raising bees for honey as well, so I don't know. That looks like a pretty simple setup. I have never seen it before. So cool. No mushrooms, at least not any edible ones. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Um, I gotta take all that trash in my truck bed to the dump. And then, I don't know, just go enjoy my homestead and my chickens and just look around and start planning. Oh, I do have to process the rest of that wood, so I gotta get that done. Um, I did manage to take a few pine cones. I don't think that's illegal. Uh, I'm going to make some fire starters with them. Of course, they uh, they make great fire starters just, you know, putting them in the fire. But I'm going to put a little bit of wax on them. So, anyhow, it's been a nice stroll out here. I love it. There's a great camping spot up on a hill. I would love to go tent camping out there sometime. Um, anyhow, yeah, so I'm going to go on back home and finish that wood and uh, just have a lovely rest of my day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.